welcome back to another yeah. episode of the UHC. Why am I spinning around? Oh god! Yep, that happened. So how many times? Time shot is time shot. Oh, you're gonna shoot at me! We're gonna Shooting die. at me. No, we're not gonna die. Okay, let's just drop in. Let's just drop in right in the middle. You drop in first. Okay? I'm going. He's oh, I gotta drink me. my meal. He's killing me! No, he's not. Come down. Ouch! I killed him. Oh, my water breathing! <laughs> Help me! Help me! Drink your water breathing! I'm breathing! Okay. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. Oh, I almost Where hit you with the sword. He's hitting me. I don't like him. Man, that guy was as strong as the. Okay, night vision. Check. Oh, wow, everything lights up. Okay. So, silk touch, do you have? No. That would be best for these things, but if you don't have it, that's fine too. Do I have fatigue? Yes, I do still. I just drink. Okay, I might need another... Oops. Crap. What? How come my night vision wore off so fast? What? Why am I dying? No, water bottle. You're no. getting shot at. Go, move. Stop, move. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> Why is my water breathing wearing off too? My what water heck, breathing man? wore off. What? My water breathing wore off. Does drinking... It's supposed to last eight minutes. Does drinking milk remove water breathing potion effect? Yes. I think I know what a problem was. Oh no. <laughs> I died! Oh, you're all your stuff. I know, and I can't come back. Hello everybody, I am back here on Time Shot. I am in a cave, and I felt like, you know, I don't normally record a lot of Time Shot these days, and I did just post a Time Shot yesterday where I was super quiet, and I was with Poet, and I wasn't planning on recording that, and uh, so my sound levels were all wonky, as some of you guys noticed. Uh, good job <laughs> noticing that. And so, like, what you've probably seen, what I'm going to post before this, is that we we tried to go to the temple, and we died, I died, and then he died several times, we lost all of our things. And I came back here to my base, and then I saw this. There's a secret waiting for you. And I was like, oh crap, did I, was that not my secret Santa? Like, I didn't know, I didn't know if the, t I thought the tunnel was my secret Santa, but apparently, I am the world's worst uh, server admin. Which we already knew. <laughs> And I came down here and I saw that all that back spot had been cleared off. And I was like, <gasps> and then I saw this time. There was two other chests here too. I saw this. It says, secret Santa. Book not signed so it doesn't give me away. Which we all, we already know who it is. I think it's Penny. I'm pretty sure it's Penny. I think it's Penny. And it says, Dear Winter, I know you've been super busy with a lot of things recently, especially IRL. In the moments where you do have some free time, I'm sure you don't want to spend it digging for hours on end. So I, Santa's secret helper, have helped you out with a few things. We noticed your nether tunnel was a little precarious, so we fitted it with some speedy ice blocks so you can spam jump your way to spawn and back safely and quickly. We didn't design a whole elaborate tunnel for you. I'm sure you'll want to do that yourself, but it works and it's safe from nasty gas. We've also cleared out a big chunk of your cave here and left those materials in the chest for you. I really hope that helps you get to the ice cave so you're excited for. You're so excited for. In case you need more to dig out some more, here's some TNT to help you with that. If you don't use it for this, well, I'm sure TNT can always be put to good use. Hope your holidays are restful and full of joy. Your secret Santa. So that was kind of cool. All this TNT and gunpowder. So I was super, super, super excited. I've actually started, uh, I was watching some Netflix this morning while I was having my coffee. And as you can see, I started digging out the next section. Um, this is going to be now our bridge. It's going to go this way to a thing in the middle. So we're down. That's done being extended. I've started working on like uh, placing snow. I've got to fix that right there. Although I think I'm going to make it lumpy and uneven. So I think that might actually work. I don't know. We're going to make it sort of, it's not going to be square. This cave is not going to be square. I just want to clear out a square spot, but it's kind of cool. So, uh, we're going to go also to spawn and look at it, zombie. He's just like, I'm just going to hang out here. It's cool. Oh, I lost my bow. Oh no. I lost my bow. So that's a thing. So that's kind of nice. Um, I thank you. I didn't realize that. Oh, I think a snowman went down that way. I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure he did. So, yeah, that was that was really nice. I really appreciated that. I'm expecting to have a lot of new stuff. I can't. I still can't announce my new job. Um, I'm I'm in the process of uh, completing paperwork for my new job, and until that paperwork is completely 100% good to go, I really don't want to jinx it and announce what I'm going to be doing. 
until I can safely do that. So it's kind of <laughs> like I'm super excited, but super stressed out. Stressed out. It's it's like been like a week since they decided, yeah, they're gonna hire me. And the unfortunate thing is I'm working remote. So that means we're having to do all this paperwork stuff. You know, when you normally get a job, you have to sit in HR and fill out a bunch of paperwork. It's like normal. It happens every time. And uh, it, it's usually like a couple hours worth of work. Well, now the place I'm working for is like way far away. So we're having to like email back and forth. And she's like, oh, well, I need this paper. And then I didn't fill it out right. She's like, no, I need you to do this. And I'm like, oh, OK. <laughs> but the really cool thing is that I'll be working on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And I'll be working nights and I'll just be home. I'll be at home. So while I'm working, I'm at home. And that means, um, you know, I can I can still do things because like it's not a job that we're like. Well, some nights you're going to be like super busy. It's going to happen. Look, some of my bunnies got out. It makes me annoyed. They let out my bunnies. Oh, well. I'm, I was told not to like remove whatever's in there. So we're going to go to spawn and collect my Christmas present because I need to. So that was that was something because we didn't talk about yesterday and it's going to be nice because the job I'm going to be doing I could do even when I'm in Canada. So when I go visit Poet in Canada on the 11th I can just bring a laptop and do my work from there too. Unlike the poopy gas station I work at now where if I'm gone I don't get make money and it's there are so many reasons. I love I love some of the people I work with at the gas station and I love some of the customers and helping them out and being the person that makes their day a little brighter. But there's so many politics and drama that I'm such an anti-drama person. I'm the type of person who just avoids conflict at all costs. And uh, there's some people that just like making drama a part of your lives. So we got happy holidays from Starlet here. Says, Dear Wind, Merry Christmas. I hope your holidays are filled with family and fun and definitely some rest. Mm, it's the same person. We need to collab, collab more in the new year, but for now, hope the rest of 2016 is wonderful, Star. Yay! We got some diamonds, a saddle, an emerald, and a golden apple. I did take, like, there was some other stuff, like, I think. So we got another shulker box. We got a white shulker box. Now we have three. We have a purple one, a white one, and I don't know where my teal one is. I think I left it at Poets. Grab it. I think I left it at Poets. I'm pretty sure I left it at Poets. We'll go find out. There's just bunnies everywhere. So, and the nice thing about this job that I'm getting is that I can have my teal hair back. But I don't think I'm going to do my teal hair until after I get back from Canada because I'm kind of nervous. Um, the last time I saw poet's mother um i was just a girlfriend <laughs> and now i am returning as his fiance and the person taking him away from canada so i feel like you know they're probably not too happy that he's moving i mean i would you know think if i were a mother and my son was moving to another country and i was gonna and this son was like somebody who pretty much i spent a lot of time with did I lose my shulker box? I did. I lost my, I had my shulker box with me, didn't I? Oh, maybe I put it in the, oh, that hurt a lot. Did I put it in here? No. Where did I get my shulker box? Oh, please tell me I didn't have it on me when we died. I'll be so sad. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look back at my footage. I bet you I did. That's okay, I have two more now. That makes me so sad. I lost my handbag and I got that one special by myself and that's what makes it so special. And I lost it. I told him we were gonna die. <laughs> I told him, he's like, we could just go and you know, harvest stuff. I was like, do you remember how much they kill you? And he's like, no. I'm like, yes, we're gonna die. No. Ugh. Like, you have to go invisible and, like, never attack them. And that's the only way you can harvest anything in there. Oh, well. We'll check my base again. Maybe I left it in my base somewhere. Maybe I did. I'm crossing my fingers. 
That's my favorite special, most specialist shulker box. My sounds are too loud. There we go. There we go. So I'm thinking because I will be home and I can get things done from home now. I mean, yeah, I'm still working the same amount of hours, but it's, it's at home. And if I step away from my computer for a minute to like run the dishwasher or pick up a little bit, um, I can do that. I don't have to compl I can, I don't have to sit at my computer like the entire shift and stuff. I can get up and walk around and stretch as long as I have a way of being notified when I have to immediately take care of something. So, uh, I'm really looking forward to this. Working remotely from home is honestly one of my favorite things to do. Um, I used to have a job that if you were ill, you could work from home instead. And I always loved those days. And or sometimes it was like, yeah, don't bother coming to the office. You're not obviously feeling well. Just work from home. And it was like, yes, thank you so much. Let's go check in my storage room. Maybe I left it down there. I'm pretty sure we lost it. I don't remember putting it away. Yeah. I think we lost it. We lost my handbag. That makes me so sad. Aw. Well, that stinks. So that was something we didn't mention. Um, I'm also really nervous. I'm going to put this stuff in here. About going to Canada just because I feel like now I'm a whole, like, a whole other person for these people to deal with. I have emeralds. Like I said, well, before I was just the girlfriend and it wasn't anything serious to them. Now I am, like, taking him away. <laughs> That's how I'm sure it feels to them. At least I still have the Ouch Master. Can we name Winter's new handbag? There we go. Ta-da! This is my new handbag. Do I have a chest for books? I'll put it in there. I'll put it down here. These don't go down here. I'm gonna stick that there. I gotta reorganize this stuff. I'll just put that there for now. Oh boy. So, how was your Christmas? How was your New Year? New Year's Eve. This is New Year's Eve today when I'm posting this. Let's go harvest some more snow. I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's Christmas, and I hope your New Year's is going well. 2016 has sort of been like a really bad year for a lot of people, and it's kind of really sad. Why does this go down? One, two. I don't know. It's been really sad. Like, a lot of people have died. A lot of famous people have died, and people like act like that never happens, when in fact, that happens all the time. It's just, you know, every year people die. I don't know why this year has, 2016 has been known to be the year that took everything good. In fact, it's been kind of funny because uh, <laughs> George R.R. R. Martin tweeted out, sorry guys, I, I wrote this year, my bad. And I was, and my mom was like, who's George R.R. I was like, you, mom, I was like, really? He wrote the Game of Thrones, AKA the books where every character you love dies. And she's like, oh, I didn't know he wrote them. And it's just, it's weird to me because I'm such, I'm such an avid reader. So like when I hear something is based off a book, I have to go and read the books. I don't know why. Like, uh, there's this movie called Inkheart. Um, and I think Brendan Fraser is in it. He was in a lot of movies a few years back. He was like in every movie that came out. And I really, really loved it because it was about a guy who could read books to life. And, um, as a chronic bookworm, this is something most bookworms are like, yes. I mean, it's just one of those things where you would be so happy if you could read the, your favorite characters from your book to life. But I mean, the characters in the book were just not happy because they wanted to go back to their home, which is understandable if you were ripped out of everything you knew and loved, but you know, out of your control, you'd be sad too. But I heard it was based on a book, so then I had to read it. The Princess Bride, that movie was based on a book. And I found out that movie was actually based on a guy's adaptation of that book. It wasn't based on the original book. The Princess Bride was rewritten. Somebody just, did, did Star do this? Cover up these hole pits with snow blocks? Cause all right. Make snow blocks. 
This is why I love those things. I love those snowmen so much. Um, because they just make snow. So, um, yeah, Princess Bride was actually based off of a guy is retelling because his father used to tell him this Princess Bride and his father used to tell it in such a way that he always loved it. And then when he bought it for his son and told his son to read it, his son was like, God, it's so boring. And then he read it himself and he was like, my dad never read these parts. He skipped over these parts. So he rewrote it, The Princess Bride, the way his father actually told him the story. And that version was turned into uh, the movie. Like all the different things he says and stuff, like she doesn't actually die here, just in case you knew. That were Those were things like his father would say or like, you know, the comments that uh, Columbo, I don't know his real name, would say in the movie were things his dad would say to him. So he added those in the retelling of the book. And I just, I loved it so much. I loved those little things. But, but yeah, every time I hear a movie is based off a book, I have to read the book. I heard The Witcher game was actually based off a series of books. And so I had to read those. I'm just, that's how I roll. Um, if you've ever, you've ever want good books to read, uh, read there's this series by an author named Jim Butcher, and he writes the Dresden, the Dresden books, uh, where Harry Dresden is this wizard living in Chicago. Um, and it's like modern, like there, it's it's our world, but our world where oh you don't know, but there's like wizards and this whole supernatural thing going on, but you don't know about it. And he's this guy living in Chicago who happens to be a wizard. And he actually advertises himself as a wizard and nobody takes him seriously. And he's so sarcastic and fun. And they actually made a TV show out of these books. And it was a really bad TV show. Like, um, it was so bad. It was, it was, I watched the TV show and I was like, this could have been great. This could have been another Buffy. And it just, it's just so bad. It was just, no, it, they changed so much of the books that it was just not the same. And, uh, that bugs me too. When they change things, I mean, you have to understand they're going to change some things, which I understand, which is hard to do. Like in, in the Dresden books, there's this ghost named Bob and he lives in a skull. He's never corporeal. He's just Bob and he talks out of this skull. And in the TV show, in the TV show, they made him this man ghost. And I understand they probably did that so the actor would have some FaceTime, but no. And, you know, they were supposed to make Murphy this little tiny blonde woman. They made her this tough brunette lady. And it's like, no, you're killing the whole Murphy ideal. So that just bothered me. I get bothered by silly, stupid things like that because I have such vivid, when I read books, I, it's like watching a movie in my brain. I can see things so vividly when I read books and I don't even know how we started talking about this. What did I talk about? How did I get to this? How did we get here? I feel like there's less snowmen. I wonder if Star killed some. How did we get here, Mr. Derpy face? And, oh well, to finish it up. Basically, uh, I, it just, everything is balanced in a way that works so perfect for me in a series. Like, you know, Murphy is supposed to be this tiny little petite blonde thing because she's really, you know, she, because she's been so petite and blonde, she's felt she's needed to like be badder, bigger and badder than the rest. And that whole thing has given her a complex. So it's just the perfect reasoning behind her character. And then when you put her in the TV show and she's this just tough as nails brunette lady. And it's like, but she's there. Why? She's not petite or blonde or looks like a Barbie. There's no reasoning behind it. She just is. So it's just, it ruins it for me. So I don't know. I think, I feel like key, changing key things in from books to TV shows or movies sort of kills the reasoning behind some characters. And I don't think that they understand that. They just think, oh, well, we're just going to cast this person instead. It's like, mm, but you're not getting the par point of her character. Maybe I'm silly. Maybe I'm wrong. But I could get into Harry Potter, too, and the whole spew thing. But I'm not going to. And those of you who've read the Harry Potter books know what I'm talking about. Know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 
I get, I get so, I get so, this is, this is like one of those topics that I really can go on a tirade about, as you've probably heard now. So with that, I think we're going to call this a day. Thank you so much, Star, for my Christmas present. If this isn't Star, I'm going to feel really bad. I was going to check it before I made this episode, but I didn't because I was fairly confident it's Star. I'm fairly confident. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. But I love you, whoever did this. If it wasn't Star, I love you. Thank you so much. And with that, I'm going to call it a day. Like if you guys have liked this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you want to know when I post new content. Because YouTube doesn't always post to sub feeds. And I'll see you guys next time in the Time Shot server. Bye bye Oh, <laughs> oh,